3,700 pounds basically on the nose. 2106 FBS, one owner originally sold right here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, coming back in on trade. They were so happy with us and so happy with Winnebago that when it came time to upgrade, they stuck with Winnebago and they stuck with Haylet RV. They just went to one that was a little bit wider, a little bit longer, gave them a little more space and a little more storage. The good news for you folks, you're getting a retirement grade trailer that is virtually new, both in age and condition at a used RV price tag that could still qualify for same as new financing. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet combination. And there's a lot of really good qualities that go into these micro minis, but I think one of the ones that has really helped them achieve success very quickly in the marketplace, considering their young age, is the fact that with that slide closed, like we're seeing here, it has excellent travel access. You can get to all the kitchen, the bathroom, the sleeping, and pretty much all the storage with the exception of one tiny little cabinet above the TV without ever bumping the slide out. So super pack them up and travel stop friendly. Now, although I really do like the way the current Winnebago's look, I personally kind of miss this color package generation. I love how light and how bright it is in here. It makes this little camper look and feel much larger than it is with those lighter colors. We are completely carpetless. We have ventless flooring. We're easy cleaning. There's storage below that bed, uh, both in a separate front passer as well as in a foot rest area lift up uh, bed storage area with large windows on either side of that bed. Uh, really helping open it up in here, making it look and feel bigger and plenty of light. Plus you have that little um, you know, privacy curtain you can pull around in the event that you want to fold this little jackknife sofa down over here into something of a bonus sleeper. Which of course it's perfectly suited for doing. Uh, we do have pleated nightshades for privacy all the way through and uh, all the cabinetry in here is going to be pocket screwed with hardwood cabinet door frames. And there's always the question of where do I eat in a trailer like this and hiding behind that sofa is actually a floating little dinofa table folding legs let it be used inside or outside and what's also kind of neat you see how the previous owners put those little pool noodles on there that really keeps it lodged in position behind the couch so that it's not jiggle banging around and smashing stuff up in transit bluetooth dvd player over that away you can see all the original electronics and everything present and accounted for also this does have centralized air conditioning, which not all little trailers like this have. Now, all Winnebago's always have. What's also cool, though, uh, here's a good example right next to me. The air vents can all be opened and turned, or closed, as it were, individually, which is just a nice little handy feature on these things. So you always have excellent control on exactly where your cold air is flowing inside one of these RVs. And although it's standard today, that full-size two-door fridge freezer was actually an optional piece of equipment when this was built. Um, I, I, we built this one. Uh, I'm the guy that actually tends to spec out a lot of our inventory, so I'm pretty darn familiar with that. You can see the plywood extension drawers here, and they give you storage where they can below the sink and the stove. Below the sink is a nice place for a small wastebasket. Uh, flip up a little counter extension there is quite welcome. And I've got the sink covers off that stainless sink currently, but it does allow you to have some pretty decent prep space in here if you need. It's a small camper, so, you know, counter space is always going to be something that's a premium, and they did the best they could here. Plenty of floor space even for bigger folks like me back here in this bathroom And that's what I like about these even though it's a smaller trailer It does pretty good for bigger folks like me like you've got a well-sized shower in the radius track at the top here It really gives you that extra elbow room. You're gonna want and need also Dedicated in bathroom closet space right here like you might have noticed up front There's one full closet and then one side stand. Well, there's a second hanging closet back in here with some extra little space down below for extra toilet paper, you know, hand soaps, things like that. And there's actually a nice chunk of extra space behind this big stainless sink here in the bathroom. That's a good indicator, too, that this is a more material premium trailer. There are some brands, they'll try to give you that stainless visual in the kitchen to make you think, ooh, this is fancy and upscale. Then you get back in the bathroom and you find out just like a, a traditional plastic sink. And they don't do that here. They're very consistent on these Winnebago's. That's why we like them today. We begin outside with a large pass-through storage compartment. Big doors on both sides. You can see that handy battery disconnect switch right there. Um, again, completely carpetless through the whole RV. You can see the little uh, bounce dryer sheets keeping the critters out, which makes the RV smell a lot better than grandma's mothballs. Right below that baggage door, below the skirt line, there is also a... Um, 
uh, outside gas grill quick connect. So uh, if you want to do some cooking outdoors and keep the heat from smoking out of the camper, you can do that. Uh, she is seven foot wide, which makes this thing easy towing for a few reasons. It weighs less, less wind resistance. Um, sitting lower to the ground also helps with that. But also it's easier to see around. Um, did I mention that? I think I don't think I did. I'm sorry. I've done a lot of videos today and stuff's just starting to bleed together. I do still recommend towing extension mirrors, however. Um, power tongue jack on the front doing the heavy lifting for us. The tires and suspension here, I want to talk about that. This has the same four-wheel independent torsion axles and suspension as something like a Rockwood RV. So this little thing rides and handles beautifully. Uh, the uh, All the hookups, they're all back here in the rear corner. So, you know, your separate cable and satellite, black flush, outside shower, all above the sewer hookup stuff right there. And a full-size bumper, in case you want to have a place for that sewer hose. Although, um, they that can cause the, uh, the bumper to rot out prematurely. And, well, just period, because normally they just won't do it themselves. So just kind of use caution when you do that. Fully walkable roof, that's why there's a ladder on the back here, and power awning with lighting and TV hookups below, anti-slam door, extra large handle for easy come and go. Not a whole lot to dislike about this one, ladies and gentlemen. The Like I said, the only hiccup with this thing is that it's in my driveway instead of yours. Um, <laughs> we don't get used Winnebago's in like this very often. When we do, they tend to leave just as quickly. So, it's so one that looks good. Give us a call. Chances are it's not going to last long. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.